this is Pat Hood from Passions of Pastimes and I'm back with the second bag in the craft lot that uh, came from Sally at Vintage Discoveries. We had 28 pieces in the first bag and there were oh very few pieces that needed repair but all lots of interesting stuff. So here is the second bag. I picked the first, I did the first bag or I picked the first bag because it looks like lots of um, brooches. And this one is more necklaces. I thought it would be a little easier to leave it to uh, for this point. Now, well, this is kind of cool. I've never seen uh, um, a pin using discs of Mother of Pearl in this way. There's one missing there. But we could figure out a way. We could figure out a way of repairing that. Um, or uh, reconfiguring this. So, very nice. There's a little bit of glue on there that has to come off. Um, vintage. Yeah, some extra glue on the back so these it can that'll be easy easily cleaned up just to see see clasp not heavy duty metal but uh, nicely riveted and uh, very wearable very pretty here is a bracelet I like bracelets pretty pink okay so we're we're uh, we've got uh, these glass oval cabochons and then a rhinestones now there's one two three four five six maybe seven uh, eight maybe as much as ten maybe as many as ten rhinestones to uh, to be replaced because they're black I'm just gonna look on the back here because it's marked whoops So, on the clasp, I don't know if it'll be too shiny. There, you can see it's marked BSK. It's a good vintage name. Pretty little bracelet. I like to repair things with rhinestones. They're pretty easy to repair. So the back, I mean, it, the back looks like it's never been worn. Maybe somebody got it and wore it once and then it sat around. Look at that. Like it's not, if you really loved this bracelet, you would wear it a lot and then it would end up having pitting and other kinds of things. Oh, here also on the, uh, this part of the clasp. Yeah, you can see it clearly says BSK. So, um, lovely, lovely little bracelet. This blue thing is interesting, interesting, interesting. It's a light plastic. Definitely says something. I don't know if I can... Oh, there we go. I can tell it says Hong Kong. Yes. Oh, look at how pretty this is. It's... uh very lightweight delicate look at the how these are all have holes so they could be used in all different ways and they're strung in all different ways oh that is sweet it's probably way too small for me to be able to wear but a sweet vintage necklace wow oh craft lot oh a uh, bead yeah, to, oh, it got to, it's not just a pearl, it's a bead with, so, here is a tie tack with a pearl. Yeah. Here is a, well, that's the problem with choosing the necklaces second, is that they might be all, well, this is kind of cool. Look at these stations. A solid ball inside 
uh, well, not really solid, but with swirls and then these and a uh, little bit of a knot here. This needs a little cleaning. It's a little sticky feeling, you know, that just, uh, just needs a good wash. Take that over there, that around there, this through there. And have we managed to get it all apart? Oh, a rhinestone. I don't know who that belongs to, but we don't want to lose that. Uh, another rhinestone. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad I got this t kind of a towel that grabs everything. So, spring ring clasp in good shape. Nice long necklace. Very wearable. Um... Hmm. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with that. That's very nice. So, yeah, nice. Uh, just even, it even doubled up. The stations uh, are nicely spread out. So, uh, yeah. Here's uh, a little bracelet. No markings. Starting to go a little bit to the copper side of things. Now, one of the things you can do when the finish starts to wear off is you can um, shine it right down to the copper and then if you have a reaction to copper, like if it turns your skin green, you can uh, give it a clear coat with, uh, especially if you use uh, UV resin. So, uh, or it also can be painted, like repainted, and then given a clear coat. So that's a, uh, another bracelet. Something interesting to repurpose. Well, these are some interesting beads. Kind of, not quite melon beads, but reminiscent of melon beads. They're a... Uh, just a, a type of matte plastic. Nice soft colors for the fall. Very wearable. Don't know what I would do with that. I might just give that one away. This feels like... Oh, got a few things. Oh, cool, I got this one. Oh, I think... I saw this in one of her videos. It's, oh, I'm so thrilled. It's carved tiger's eye. And it's just, you know, got some wire wrapped through it to make it into a pendant. And then it's on this necklace with, might be glass, might be tiger's eye um, beads. I'm not 100% sure. They feel cold. The rest of the beads don't feel cold, but many of them do. Let's, okay, so let's get this white one out of here. Another rhinestone. I have to see what's missing all the rhinestones. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love Tiger's Eye. That is just amazing. So here's the, the necklace. Comes up from these stones or glass. These stones are glass. These feel like plastic. There's no temperature difference. These... They're plastic, plastic, and then these are stone or glass, I think. The way they're, I think those must be stone, like a cat's eye type bead, the way they're warming up in my fingers. Like the further away the, they are, like these ones are cold, but... Hmm. Are they warming up as I handle them? These are definitely a lot warmer than these ones. Yeah, they're warming up as I handle them. But so cool, this is really neato. Maybe it is just glass. It's kind of cold though. It's still cold. That shine is amazing. Whatever it is, 
I thought it was Tiger's Eye when I first saw it. So, can't always tell. But, beautiful piece. I don't know what, I could take it apart, I guess, for crafting. I'm not sure if I would, though. Oh, here's the other earring to go with the uh, earring in the previous video. Let's see if I can find it. Yep, those are big earrings. They, they make a statement. And there's a pair. So the earrings are all in pairs. Got, these are more, some plastic beads. Oh, all right. I don't see, I only see one of these. <laughs> now there's a Halloween earring for you. I think I'll, uh, Hang it on my door or something for Halloween, but it isn't. It's meant to be an earring. There's only only one that I see. There's some red seed beads. I'm trying to untangle from this other. How is this? I took advantage of the uh, camera mishap to get this seed bead necklace detangled from the other necklace. So these are uh, some seed beads and some larger, maybe some three millimeter rounds. So um, useful for, they're not cold, so I think they're just plastic. It's hard to tell. Um, yeah, there's no chill to them. This is uh, molded in place vintage. Um, you know, better quality than Mardi Gras beads, but for my purpose, it's not much use. That's okay, that's why this is a craft lot. This. Huh. These are molded in place beads. Three sort of light to darker. Um, kind of a butterscotch coating. A lot of verdigris here. I keep this one uh, separate from other things. Obviously there would have been a stone or something in the center there. So I might just get rid of the clasp altogether. It, uh, it's a box clasp. It goes in like that. Um, a choker. Oh, it didn't stay very closed. So this one might just get tossed in the garbage. I'm not sure if it's worth keeping. Here is something, something, something. It looks like a pin tangled with a butterfly necklace. So let me just gently... I might... Uh, I'm going to go to something simpler that's easier to deal with. Here is a crystal necklace. Feels like glass. Beautiful. Aurora Borealis. Beans. Look at how they change color in the light. A uh, little hook. Very small. Like, very, very small necklace. But beautiful. And because the way it's constructed, I mean, look at these gorgeous um, bicones. Really good quality glass stones, crystal if not just very high end glass. So that's very pretty. And then this is unusual because this is there's no way this is a bracelet. This is. All I can think is it's supposed to be an anklet, but I, I don't know. There's some nice beads on here. This is, I don't think this is vintage. I think it's modern and would be an anklet. And I don't know how well it would stand up to things like sand. I guess if you were going out to a high-end day thing where you had needed flashiness on your ankle as well as um, 
everywhere else. I guess I'm used to thinking of anklets more as beachwear. You know, when you're showing off your, your ankles. So, um, yeah, definitely that will repurpose that one. And then, as you can see, I think I might... Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So part of the issue with this was that the chain was stuck in the clasp. And the chain is stuck around the... There we go. Oh, this is sweet. It's got a little miraculous medal for Mary hanging inside. I'll have to, I've, I've not, uh, I'll have to look up the significance of that. I mean, I know what the Miraculous Medal is for, but I've, I don't recall seeing pins like this. Riveted construction, a little bit of rust on the back there, so that'll need to be cleaned up. But the clasp is in good shape. There's, uh... So I wonder if this is something you bought when you visited a particular religious shrine? I don't know. But very pretty. Um, I wonder if there was supposed to be something out the other side there. It's almost like something's broken off because like doesn't it? Yeah. It kind of looks like something's broken off the other side. Maybe it was more leaves. It's a little rough in there, and you need something to hide the pin. I mean, I guess it's not too, it doesn't stand out too much, but yeah, my camera's really washing things out tonight. That blue is such a nice, uh, uh, like a, what do they call it? Sapphire blue. doesn't look anything like that on the camera today. So, So that's quite pretty. And then ring ring clasp kind of coppery looking I think this is newer but uh, a very pretty little butterfly not mark just a second now I, I thought maybe something in the you know where the body is there was marked but it's not perfect size for a uh, little granddaughter and uh, A lot less crafted jewelry than I would have thought. Excellent value from Sally at Vintage Discoveries. Thanks, Sally. I'll be uh, looking forward to uh, more craft lots like this. I mean, you have to kind of look at what you you know look at the lots as you see them and say, okay, I think that's a good one to pick for me because it has things that I enjoy or like to work with, and I certainly. Uh, uh, feel like I did pick the right one for me and I've got some interesting things, interesting things to play with. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. It's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. i got to figure out where these extra little rhinestones belong that I have. I've got one, two, three. So, bye for now.